just got done doing our grocery order and it just looks too good not to show you guys right now. So I figured I might as well just quickly run through and show you everything that's in my fridge. We have been really trying to eat um, a lot healthier. We've been on a kick for pretty much a few months now. Um, I'm not saying I didn't order Taco Bell two nights ago, but I am saying that I'm making an effort. So, um, in an effort to eat healthy, this is what I like to keep our fridge looking like on a week in and week out basis. So first, I have um, just some condiments and some different things in the drawers right here. Here, it's actually random. There's really no rhyme or reason. I'm not gonna act like it's all organized. This is just dressings, and then here's lime juice, lemon juice, wine margarita mix and then a little bit of creamer that we have left over and then here's like some salsa verde garlic um i think this is sauerkraut and then up here we have um back there in the way way back yep right there there is ginger ale that we use to make cocktails and here's some eggs we get them from costco because i like to do hard boiled eggs omelets Whenever I bake, it calls for a lot of eggs, so I just use a ridiculous amount. Um, and then here are some organic strawberries that I got and LaCroix back there. Um, and then, I don't know if you guys can see, but right there is a, um, here you go. That's a chicken tortilla soup from Costco. I'm absolutely obsessed. It's so low calorie, you would die. It's like so good. And then back here is, I have my probiotics. That's how often I take them, is they're way back there. <laughs> and then my salsa, Mateo's is best. Um, some feta crumbles, and then of course Greek yogurt, because that leads me down here. We will make a like yogurt parfait with blueberries, agave, and granola. We eat that breakfast a lot. Um, here is some more, um, this is a, it's so good if you haven't tried it, a cilantro avocado yogurt dressing and then a Caesar dressing and ranch. And then here's some yogurts and I have the baking soda thing, like, I don't know if you can see that, way back there. It's the baking soda that keeps your fridge just kind of smelling good and not getting stinky. These are the best if you've never tried these flip yogurts. Oh my gosh. Of course, I mentioned in my last video, I was not doing this as much as I wish I would have, but having grapes out in this little colander, we will eat these, like just pick them out throughout the day and we actually snack on these and we'll finish this in probably a week. Um, and then here's spinach for smoothies. And I just wanted to try this. I've never had them before, but it is just a Kroger Santa Fe salad. It looks super good. Um, so I got two of them just to try out. Our favorite creamer, they just rebranded. I freaked out. I thought they got the wrong one, but here is a white wine chicken leftover that I have and then a veggie stir fry leftover. And our almond milk hoard. I drink way too much almond milk. Okay, moving on to our veggies and produce drawer. This has, it's kind of like jam packed right now because there's a couple of things that aren't quite expired yet but I don't wanna just throw them out. So um, I always have bell peppers on hand because I'll put these in like an omelet or a stir fry or anything like that and they're great. And then these are some like mini bell peppers that I eat as a snack. Um, and then I just have some lettuce in here. There's cilantro, cabbage, and um, there's a cauliflower back there too. Altinias as well. I need to put these down below. This drawer is all of my dairy primarily. I have Greek yogurt a lot, so I don't, this is kind of like the forbidden drawer. I don't go in here a lot um because i really try to steer away from dairy it really upsets my stomach so i try to do try to do gluten-free dairy free as much as i can um but like this i would put on a caesar salad or something and it would be fine and, and then i have cream cheese because my guilty pleasure is takis and cream cheese and a jalapeno don't knock it till you try it and then i just have some um shredded cheese right here and pepper jack and then sour cream. Okay, moving on. Here is the, I guess this is technically supposed to be like a protein drawer. I don't know what the like intended purpose of this drawer is, but this is skirt steak. I buy this almost every single week at the grocery store. We were making these steak tacos that were so good, but we really don't, we opt out of tacos now. Cause again, we're really trying to be um, a lot more conscious of what we're eating. So we have been making a steak and potatoes protein bowl. So I'll either do a sweet potato base or 
um, a regular base with this steak, and it's so good, so I get that every single time. Back here um, is this jalapeno cheddar breakfast sausage. We really like to make um, a homemade breakfast. Hello? We really like to do um, like a breakfast in bed on Saturday mornings. It's kind of, It was our tradition for a while. We need to get back on it. I pre-chop onions. I sometimes will do um, red or purple onions. Week it was purple or red, whatever I want to call it. Back here is just a little bit of pre-chopped uh, romaine lettuce for Caesar salads. And then I also have baby carrots for my hummus. Oh yeah, I didn't even say that. This is a... Uh, herb hummus and then this is my jalapeno collection it's supposed to all fit in here because nobody should have this many jalapenos but um, yeah we don't need to talk about that and then this is something that we're trying this week it's just these little cel celery and peanut butter like pre-packaged snacks but look at the peanut butter ratio I just took this out to show you guys but we always have this cold brew right here we pre-make our cold brew um, pretty much every week we'll do a new, we'll fill this up and do homemade cold brew because I think, oh my god, <laughs> get down. I think I showed in my last video um, where I just kind of like walked through my groceries that we were buying two cold brew, pre-made cold brew at the grocery store almost every week. That would have added up to $40 a month if I'm doing my math right, just on cold brew from the grocery store. So we started making it, um, and we make it in this thing right here. Um, I know this technically isn't what's in my fridge, but um, I, I figured I'd add it too. So I usually get some avocados, limes, lemons, onions, and then um, I'll sometimes do oranges as a snack instead of apples, because if we do the same thing too often, then we end up not eating it as much if you know what I mean. Um, and then bananas, we never eat them just like that. We will, they'll always go super ripe. And then um, we end up just doing this. So we'll just break them up and freeze them. But here's chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's. If, if you haven't tried this, oh my God, it's so good. And then this is a three berry blend um, for smoothies that we do. Down here, we have some Atlantic frozen salmon. So good. And then we also have these sweet potato fries from Costco and they're amazing. Have these Siete Tortillas. I have had these in here for, um, let's be honest, three months, never eaten them. Um, and then I have stir fry leftover veggies and like peas, carrots, and corn. And over here, this is one pack of frozen chicken breast that I have left. And then we get this every single time. It's a huge bag of chicken breast from Costco. These are organic chicken breasts that we love. These are Costco also. It is these bare chicken nuggets. They taste exactly like Chick-fil-A's chicken nuggets. Um, and then just some, these are frozen wings and potatoes that we've had in here forever and haven't eaten. And then frozen grapes, if you know, you know. This is a stir fry veggie blend. I swear by it. It's the quickest dinner just to chop up um, some chicken and add to it. These are also from Costco, these chili cilantro lime burritos. They're really good. And then of course, if you know me, if you watch my other video, these are my holy grail, just like a frozen Snickers bar if you ever had one. Um, and then back there we have our turkey burgers. And you can't do a what's in my freezer without your face roller. I wash it before I put it in there. That is it for my what's in my fridge tour. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.